Hey everybody, Maz Brani here with our Persian word of the week. This week we're gonna start with the word khar, khar, khar. Khar means idiot, but it also means donkey. So depending on how you deliver it, you're walking along the street, you see a donkey, you go, oh look, there's a khar. Or you're driving along the street, someone cuts you off, you go, hey, khar. Okay, so khar means idiot, khar means donkey. Bus is our second word, bus. Bus means kiss, bus, bus. And our third word this week is eh. It's more of an expression. Eh, like when you're shocked. Eh, look, it's Superman. Eh. Now we're gonna take khar, add bus, add eh, we get khar buse. Now one change, we gotta take the word bus and change the S to a Z, so it becomes booz. So now we get khar buze. Khar buze. Khar buze does not mean to be shocked to be kissing an idiot or shocked to be kissing a donkey, but rather khar buze means cantaloupe. Hey everybody, this is Maz Jobrani. I'm sitting in a cafe, I won't be too loud. I got word, I realized that my word of the day, charbuze, is not actually a uh, cantaloupe. I know, I messed up, can you believe it? Maybe I am the char in the charbuze. Charbuze actually is honeydew melon, that green, yellow, sweet melon that we all love to eat. So my apologies, thank you for correcting me. Charbuze is honeydew melon. And you might be asking, well, what is a cantaloupe in Persian? In Persian, cantaloupe, we're gonna go with the word tall, tall. The word eh, like you're surprised. Eh, look, I just saw a tall baby. And then b, like a b, like bzzz. You put tall, le b, you get cantaloupe. Tall, le b is cantaloupe, charbuze, honeydew melon. Hey everybody, Maz Jobrani here with your Persian words of the week. I asked some of you to send in a suggestion and a lot of you suggested these following words. The first word we're gonna learn this week is chus. Chus means fart. Not the loud kind, the quiet kind, the fss. A loud fart is guz. Guz is pfft. Chus is fss. Now, that's two words so far. You add the word feel, like I feel good, and you get Elephant, fil is elephant. So we're gonna take the word chos and add it to fil, we get chosefil. Now chosefil does not mean the fart of an elephant, but rather it means popcorn. That's right. Chos is fart, quiet kind. Fil is elephant, combine them, chosefil. And don't forget, it might cause you to goose. Enjoy your movies. Hey everybody, Maz Jobrani here with our Persian words of the week. Okay, our first word this week is morde. Morde means someone who's dead, morde. Second word is shur. Shur, like shur, it means salty, but it also means the verb to wash, to wash. Our third word is richteto, richteto. Richteto means your looks, richteto, sounds Italian, richteto. And the fourth word is bebare, bebare means to take away, take away, bebare. You're gonna put the four words together again, mordeshur richteto bebare, mordeshur richteto bebare, which does not mean may someone who's washed and dead take your looks away, but rather it means may the person who washes dead people also uh, wash you, it means may you die. It means may you die. It's not a nice term. But if you get cut off in traffic, you go, hey, like that. You yell at them like that, okay? So now you know, but don't get too angry. Breathe, and then like that, okay? Good luck.